So we have our Daisy Award again, three months in a row. Next year. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you a little bit about Daisy Award this morning, and you might think, why am I going to tell you the story again? But it's so great when family can, what's that? Oh, oh when family can come. I thought somebody was talking to me. And um, so make sure that they understand the um, impact and the reason for Daisy. So, Miss Riley, come on. <laughs> this is kind of a what fun day for you and yes. kind, of, kind of a sad day for us because yeah. this is your last day too isn't it yeah getting close getting close. second to last day yeah <laughs> so we wish you well Thank i'm you. very sad you're going but so let me tell you a little bit about daisy so daisy is an award that was started in the year 2000 in seattle washington by the family of patrick barnes um, patrick is a 33 year old gentleman who was a new father, husband, and unfortunately passed away after a lengthy il illness with um, complications from ITP. And in the six weeks that um, Patrick was in the hospital before his death, his family expected the nurses to be smart and competent and know the technology, but what they were so deeply touched by was the compassion that the nurses shared to Patrick and to them. And so they tell the story that one night over a liquid dinner, um, they thought, how can we honor the nurses in Seattle? And they come up, came up with daisies, disease attacking the autoimmune system. And they thought it would be a local award, but it's now in over 10,000 hospitals um, here and internationally. And today, our Daisy Award winner is Riley. <laughs> Is going to tell us why. So actually, um, I think Riley was nominated before, but since she's on the committee, she did not vote for herself. And when I heard <laughs> this, I thought, as um, I'm looking at, a, I think it was a Sunday paper, and there was an obituary from a patient that we had. Riley's name was mentioned in there as being their um, angel while they were in the hospital, and I just thought that was very appropriate for a Daisy Award to think that somebody. It actually mentioned a name, an obituary that had taken um, care of their loved one that uh, she deserved it. So. And I brought a little bit of that. Let me try. Oh, I hope I have it in here. Do you want to bring it? Yeah. So let me just read to you what they so because it was really nice really for all of you. And um, so it said the family expresses their deep appreciation to the doctors and nurses in Rochester. The nurses at Albert Lee Mayo Clinic, Dr. Ganson and nurses at Mercy Cancer Center in Mason City, the angels on fourth floor west at Mercy Hospital that gave Mel and family the best care possible in his last days on earth into one special angel, Riley, for her great insight and encouragement to us as a family. Thank you for being their angel. You can see how that happens. Well, even though you're not going to be here for a month, your name's going to be up for a month. <laughs> so if you want to stick around, that's all right. We'll let you do that. This is a portfolio that is signed by the Barnes family and myself for you. Next. They, partner with, they, they partner with Kleenex and it comes in handy. A daisy pen that you should wear very proudly. They used to have cinnamons in here, but they don't do that anymore. Do we still have cinnamon? Do we bring those? So um, the story with cinnamon is, is that when Patrick would, could still eat, his um, father brought in one of those cinnamon rolls one morning, you know, the big ooey gooey cinnamon rolls to eat for himself. And Patrick said, ooh, that smells really good. I think I'll take a bite, proceeded to eat the whole thing, and said, Dad, bring these in every morning for me and the nurses. And so um, we have cinnamon rolls from hy -Vee here for you and we have daisies somewhere mm -hmm. and then what I think is the best gift of all is a statue called the healers touch and this is handmade by artists in Zimbabwe for Daisy um, uh, and for them in their culture the healer is very very important to them and so they are truly touched to make these statues for Daisy and for you today Riley and your artist has signed it and this work really supports 14 families in this very impoverished nation so it's an honor for them and an honor for us so very proud of you so anything you want to say Thank all my coworkers here. Couldn't do what I do without all of you, and I'm gonna miss you guys a lot. Um, and this was a really hard case for me, um, and it's just an honor 
to be mentioned in somebody's obituary like that. So thank you. Yeah. And now if we must, we'll eat cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>